Welcome to this video where we'll talk today about how to constrain and define and add relations to sketches. This is a really important video because whenever you're making parts you need to know exactly what their measurements are. If it, something isn't fully constrained then that means uh, that measurement could be anything. So it's really important to fully constrain and to know exactly uh, what you're doing when you uh, dimension your drawings. This is my attempt to help you, and I'd like to start off with an example. I saw this uh, differential housing on the internet, and I'd like to make a 2D sketch of one of the sides of the differential housing. It might be a pretty good example to uh, help us out. If you'd like to uh, make that 2D sketch into a 3D image, you can find that video here, where I talk about extrusions, and that'll be my next video that I do. Otherwise, Let's go back to SolidWorks. I think I'm going to make a sketch of this back face that's facing away from us. You have one axle coming out here, one axle coming out here, and you have your drive shaft coming in this way. So we'll make a sketch of that 2D face. Maybe we can extrude it in a uh, different video. So coming out here, I've got uh, my origin over here, so I'll just make a line at the origin another line, line, and coming in from this side, make another line. It's really just making a really, really rough image. I'm kind of exaggerating getting the wrong dimensions on purpose to talk about how to bring these dimensions into conformity. So first off, I notice I've got some black lines, and I've got some blue lines, and I have these green guys. What does all this mean? I'll start with these green guys. These green guys are called relations and I'll notice that when I've got a vertical line I've got a vertical green guy and I've got a horizontal line right here I've got a horizontal green guy by that this is SolidWorks telling me that I started the line here and I finished it here and it's horizontal so SolidWorks is saying I'm going to do whatever it takes to keep this line horizontal if I delete this horizontal relation SolidWorks will not keep it horizontal so if I've got a crooked line and I want to make it horizontal, at least relative to our view here, then I will click on the line, and on the menu that pops up, on most SolidWorks the menu pops up over here, I'm going to make that horizontal, and the line obeys. There's a lot of relations that I can do. For instance, I can click on this line, and then I can click on this line while holding control so both are selected and I can say I want them perpendicular and then this line or this green guy shows up that says I'm going to do whatever it takes to keep these two lines perpendicular now since this one has a horizontal and this one has a vertical relation that perpendicular is a bit superfluous and sometimes when you go too many dimensions it's a bit it can throw off SolidWorks as I'll demonstrate later um, this guy means coincidence so this coincident thing means that this line and this line both are going to end at the origin. I can make a line off of this line and it will have the, whoa, 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 what just happened to that line? There we go. And it will have the coincident relation saying that this line will be attached to this line so to say. So whatever I do that end is always going to be attached. Now, in this photo, these sides look like they're the same height, and in my drawing, they are not. So let's add another relation. I'm going to choose one line, hold control and choose the other line, and say, go linear. When they're collinear, that means that they're on the same imaginary plane or line, whatever you want to call it. So these are um, relations. Let's see if I've missed any relations. I can always say this line and this line are parallel. So I can make a parallel relation and tell SolidWorks to do whatever it takes to make sure that those lines are parallel. And I can make them equal length. So let's say I want this line and this line to be the exact same length because as of right now, this one is short and this one is long. Then I'll select both of these two and say equal length. Go ahead and play around with those relations. I think I showed you some of the most important ones. Um, now, even more important than relations, I noticed that 
when you're going to do a differential, you've got to be really exact in all your measurements and make sure that you've got it measured the way that you want to. So, some lines are black, some lines are blue. What does that mean? A black line says, SolidWorks is telling you, okay, I know that the line must start at the origin, because that's where we started from, and that's a defined point, and I know that this line is horizontal. So I know enough to make this line black, saying I know some things about this line. Notice here that the end point is blue. The blue point means I don't know where this line should end. So I know it should be horizontal, and I know it should start from the origin, but where does this other point end? So we should put a distance on there. We should say I want the line to be this long. And if SolidWorks knows that it starts here and goes a certain length, and it will know where this point should be. I'll say make it Oh, we're 78 inches long. That's pretty long. I'm going to reduce it to 10 inches. And that kind of destroyed our sketch. SolidWorks does that sometimes. So sometimes you just have to change some dimensions to kind of rebuild it, which is fine. So now I'm 10 inches long. I want this. I'm, this is way out of proportion, as you know, but that's what happens when you dimension and it will all come to conformity when I add some more dimensions. How tall do I want this differential? I'm going to dimension this outer wall right here. How tall do I want that? Oh, I'd say some differentials are probably six and a half inches tall. I'll go with that. I've got a differential sitting under my bed right now, but I'm not going to get it out and measure it. <laughs> now, SolidWorks knows that this line should be this tall, so we notice that these lines have now turned black. And since this line and this line have an equal relation, you see those two orange equal boxes, that means that I've said this line should be an inch long, so it automatically makes this line an inch long. I think I'm going to up that to, oh, let's say three inches. There we go. Now, all this is defined except for this three-point arc. What should we make this three-point arc? It's going to ask us for a radius. I'm going to say, what if I have this as a radius of 30 inches? It's quite flat. So I'm going to down that to a radius of 10 inches, a third of the radius. Let's go with a radius of 3 inches. Yeah, that's kind of looking like it might be somewhat like the differential housing. Um, from the back. It's not quite, but we're making a really simple example. So a radius of 3 inches now. I know that this is 10 inches, and each of these is 3 inches. So 10 minus 6 is 4 inches. That means that this distance is 4 inches apart. So what if I set the radius to be, I don't know, 1 inch? We've got a problem. It's saying, I can't make this one inch because it wouldn't even connect the two lines. And since they both have to be three inches and this down here has to be ten inches, there's nothing I can do. It doesn't work. So it's saying, well, I'm overdefined. I have too many constraints that I can't make. There's no solution found. So there's a few options that you can do. You can click right here and say Diagnose. And it comes up with deleting different relations to make conformity, to, to make it work. I'm going to say manual repair, and I'm just going to get rid of you and get rid of that. So I like this dimension of something like, we try two and a half? Yeah, let's go with two and a half. And there we have a fully defined drawing. You can see down here we have fully defined. SolidWorks knows the measurements and locations of every aspect of this drawing. And one other point that I've almost forgotten to make. Um, I can, say, make a little box here. You can always use that rectangle function, but it's almost just as easy to draw four lines, you know. <laughs> um, I don't need to have any parallel or perpendicular relations because I've got vertical and horizontal, which pretty much say the same thing. Now I can smart dimension this line, and I can smart dimension this line, and I can say I want, well, since these are horizontal, then the lengths of these lines are automatically going to be equal, 
this should be fully constrained. Why is it not fully constrained? It's because the only really known um, dimension, or the, the really only known spot is the origin. And so if your origin isn't part of the dimensioning, then SolidWorks isn't going to know. I can take this, I can drag it up and down, and I can drag it side to side. So this isn't fully constrained simply because of dimension. Uh, relative to the origin. So I can take this bottom line and put it on the origin and say I want you 16 inches above the origin. And then I can take this guy and say I want you 10 and we're fully constrained. So um, if you're having trouble you can always grab a blue line for instance. You can grab these blue lines and wherever it moves SolidWorks says I don't know what dimension should be in this direction and that can help you know what isn't fully constrained when you have some blue lines that won't go away. I think this was a pretty good overview of how to dimension and how to sketch so let me know if you have any questions you can go to jocoengineeringhelp at gmail.com or you could go to facebook.com slash jocoengineering to uh, post questions and find help on whatever you're working on I hope this has been a good video. If you're looking for other tutorials, I have made a video as a sort of a directory to show you all the tutorials that I have so far, and you can find that video here. I think it's a useful video to lay everything out. Let me know if you like it. Uh, please subscribe. I work to help you out, and the best way to help me back is to hit that subscribe button. You don't have to watch all my videos, just hit the button. <laughs> Otherwise, I will see you next time.